Farooq engineer, let me come to you next. Not, you're still using Brill Cream. You know? <laughs> <laughs> Gary, Far- Farooq absolutely. engineer, your thoughts about, um, you know, the great man, Bishan Singh Bedi, who's no longer yes, with us. Yes, indeed. Uh, indeed. I think Bishan, Prasanna, who's on the show as well, and Hi Press, how are you doing? All right? And Chandra. I think they complemented each other. Oh, good, good. You know, man. these good three you. were absolutely, absolutely the best in their trade. You know, Press was a genius. I think the way there's he some read connectivity problem. The batsman's the weaknesses was, um, you know, was a joy. And it was an honor. It was a humbling experience to be behind the stumps for these, you know, for these great, for the spinning quarter. You know, when, whenever Venki also came on the scene. But Bishan had a, you know, I mean, I was fortunate to keep wickets to the great Vino Mankad, you know, and who I consider as one of the greatest all-rounders ever in Indian cricket, of course, and with Kapil Dev and all that. But the, lex, the left-arm spinners of Vino Mankad, Bapu Natkani, Salim Durrani, who was grossly underrated, but I thought he was a fantastic spinner of the ball. And of course, Paji, Bishan. My lovely experience in Australia with him that uh, we shared when we were there with the World Eleven with Sonal Gavaskar. I had a jar of my hair oil, brill cream, you know, which Bishan broke by mistake. So I thought I didn't have time to go and buy a new one. The voice so is breaking, I think after I had some connect- my shower, I used, I thought I'll use Bishan's hair oil. And I, being his bottle, I sort of used it liberally, liberally on my head. But in two minutes, my hair was spiky right up over my head. You know, it was something that I'd never used before, a hair oil like that. And it, it turned out to be Brishan's hair fixer. You know, next day I saw him before he wore his turban. Farooq, it was like a glue. Bishan, man. And it was a, you know, another wonderful experience with Bishan <laughs> was Jeff Boycott came in our dressing room. He said, Bish, I don't get a chance to play you very often in the middle. Bishan said, it's your fault because by the time I come on, you're already out. Solkar <laughs> has got you out in the first over or so. I mean, he had a wicked sense of humor. He spoke his mind. And um, as Kiri said, that great action. But you know, he was reported to the MCC for his action. And he was by Tony Gray. And he was most upset about it. That he's got the finest left arm spinners bowling action ever and and how could a i mean this, this this was crazy he got another incident when he got when he got married in australia during the world 11 tour he asked me to break the news to his dad you know which was which was a, such a humorous i wish i could reenact the his dad's expressions you know i said but as kiri initially said we Three of us, you know, convey our heartiest condolences to his family, to Anju, to Angad and daughter Neha, because he was a genius, oh, absolutely. A, a brilliant bowler, a great friend. Yeah. And of course, you know, R.I.P. Paji. I used to always call him Paji. Being a Parsi, he used to crack Parsi jokes to me, take the mickey out of Parsis. And I used to crack <laughs> Sardar jokes with him. So, I mean, this... You know, we had, we had a thing going on and uh, great fun, great camaraderie in the team, as Pras and Kiri will tell you. You know, we, we had great times together, great team so, effort and all that. I-